guys, so I want to try to make this video pretty short. I know that when it comes to reviews, I feel like I can just gab, gab, gab. <laughs> so I want to try to make this review pretty quick. I not only have the Physician's Formula BB Cream, like I've mentioned in um, the title, but I have two other products on the side that I just want to quickly mention near, mention near the end. So this is what the packaging looks like as far as um, the BB Cream. I do not have the actual box that it came in, so any specifics or things that it actually um, is supposed to do for your skin, I will leave in the description box. So if you want to check out more about it, just you know, click or not click or go down there and um, read up on it. Now, for the most part, you know, like I've said in my other video, there's a lot of times where BB creams in America just don't work out. They're just not as you know, made as good as the Asian ones, so I feel like I was kind of in between on getting a BB cream, but I do really like Physicians Formula products, so I feel like, you know, hey, why not? It always has good vitamins and good uh, minerals to help your skin, so I thought that I would just give it a shot. So the price for this is about $13 to $14 um, if you get it at like Walmart or Target. I'm not sure the price at like drugstores like Rite Aid and CVS and whatnot, but um, it probably might be a little bit more than that. So you can just, you know, go and check out for yourself. So I will say that this um, does have SPF 30 in it, which is perfect for the summer because you don't want to wear heavy foundation. You want something light and moisturizing. Um, but also something that's going to protect you as well. So I really like that as SPF 30 because a lot of times, a lot of my stuff didn't have have any you know SPF at all. So I am excited, uh, not excited, but I am glad for that. Um, it for active ingredients has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which zinc is really great for your skin. Now for coverage and for how it goes on. It goes on very smooth. It just feels like you're putting a moisturizer on, like, you know, your normal moisturizer. Um, it blends really nice. It only has two shades. has light medium and medium dark, I think. So it's not really a lot to choose from, but I feel like since it's more like a tinted moisturizer um, and some dog barking, um, since it's more like a tinted moisturizer, it's not like a heavy foundation. It doesn't really change your look that much. I mean, I'm pretty, I guess, on more on the pale side. In the summer, I get a little bit of color, but I feel like my face always seems a little bit lighter. So it just kind of gives me that kind of sun-kissed look, I feel. So it's, I feel like it's perfect. It's not too dark or it doesn't have an orange tint or anything to it. Now I feel like it has helped a lot of like imperfections. I had a little um, dark spots and a few acne spots that I was trying to heal. And ever since I started using this, I feel like my pores have closed. Um, I feel like some of my um, and I wish that dog would shut up. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> dog barks all the time. I feel like for the most part, it has cleared up some of my acne, which is perfect because I hate having acne and if you can find a foundation or a BB cream that's gonna help you with your skin problems, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, so I definitely recommend this a lot. I just feel like it's such a great product. It heals some imperfections and gives you kind of a glow, I feel. And I am wearing it today. I don't know if you guys, you know, can see the difference from my last videos. Um, you probably have to go back probably about three videos or so and um, check out like the difference if you you know have the time or want to so like I said I'm gonna put the rest of the information of what it claims to do and what it's supposed to do um, in the description box so you kind of get more of an idea of exactly what it's supposed to do but um, I definitely recommend it it's perfect now for summer I mean you can definitely pair it with a little bit of um, a you know, like a powder. I mean, it does have a powder that goes along with it, along with a concealer, um, but you could, of course, put your own powder on top if you have really oily skin, um, or if it's really humid out, you might want to a little bit. Um, but for the most part, I feel like it's pretty good. It doesn't, you know, budge or move. It stays on all day, and um, I haven't had any issues with it. 
The only thing I will say though is when you're putting it on, don't put it on your eyelids. I mean, I know that you're not really supposed to put foundation on your eyelids, but I feel like sometimes you can with certain foundations. But definitely this one, no, because even though it doesn't make your face um, oily looking or bring out the oils in your in your face, I feel like it does that for your eye or your eyelids. Even if you put a primer on, my eyeshadow was kind of falling off um, when I put it on there. So just don't put it on your eyelids. And I think that's like the only thing that I felt, um, you know, was kind of like not really off about it but one thing that I feel like you couldn't do with it so the next two products um, are just a couple things that I just want to quickly mention this is the NYC the New York color liquid eyeliner it's just the cheap um, one of their cheaper ones but I think it's a more of a newer version that they have I'm not like um, definitely sure if it's super new but I will definitely recommend this. <laughs> I will say that right off because I have a really hard time finding a, a cheaper kind of eyeliner that stays on, especially liquid, because uh, for some reason it's just, I mean, even the e.l.f. ones and whatnot, I mean, they stay on for a little bit, but they always seem to come off. And I've had other ones from other companies. Um, I do like Wet n Wild, but I just feel like, I don't know. It, I just don't like it as much as I could like another one so I was in Target and I looked up a couple reviews on this one because I ended up um, looking at it and it said that it was a really good eyeliner and like celebrities were using it and whatnot which usually still doesn't make me want to buy it um, if celebrities use it but people were saying that it stayed on really well and I really need that for it in for an eyeliner because I'm up at five and I usually don't take a shower until about seven or eight. So I needed something like that. And it stays on really nice. It stays on the entire day. It doesn't chip, it doesn't budge. If you put it really, really thin, it can kind of crack a little bit, but nothing crazy. It doesn't look like it's cracked. You have to look close up to notice that it's a little bit cracked. But the brush is a little bit big. I will say that, but it's not like overly huge and humongous. Um, it's probably just a little bit bigger than your normal like tapered you know tiny brush so that's nothing too crazy um, but it dries pretty nice I mean of course if you're gonna sneeze right after <laughs> you're gonna get it everywhere just like all makeup but it dries pretty well and fast and which is good if you're trying to hurry in the morning and yeah so overall oh it dries matte too I will say that it dries matte um, it's not like a shiny, look, you know, looking um, on your eyelid, which I do like that. So it runs about, I think it was like $2.34 at Target. So it might be about the same, maybe a little cheaper at Walmart um, and maybe a little bit more at drugstores. So I definitely recommend this. Check it out if you're looking for a um, good but cheap eyeliner. Now the last thing is shampoo. I had this in my last video, but I wanted to make sure I did somewhat of a review of it. But it's the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy, and I mentioned how I needed the anti-dandruff one. They have a lot to choose from, I will say that. So um, when you do, or if you do go check them out, um, you have a lot to choose from for your hair types, so that's always good. But this is the Nourishing Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Now, I really like the sample that I had a while back, a couple months back, and um, it wasn't an anti-dandruff one, but it was just like, I think it was a nourishing one something just to help you know with um, dry hair which was perfect and I loved it right off it worked great even for a sample um, I mean because you don't get much in a sample you use it like maybe once or twice and um, I just felt like it worked really really well so when I got this I felt like it probably cleaned my hair really well but the dangerous part might you know might take a while but within a couple times of using it my hair like I the dandruff is gone. I don't have dandruff anymore. I mean, it was an excessive amount. I've had worse as a kid through winter, but still, like, I was using salt and blue a couple times and whatnot, and it wasn't working. Like, usually that stuff always works. So I only used this a couple times, and my dandruff was completely gone. So that was exciting. Or not really exciting, but it was good because no one wants dandruff. Um, not only that, but it made my hair really soft and fluffy for the three days that I don't wash it. 
and just made it look nice and clean and um, shiny. So I definitely like that. Um, I think it was about $4.98 at Walmart. So, I mean a little bit more expensive than your average shampoo for the most part, but I feel like it's worth the money. It's definitely worth the price and it's not like super expensive, like um, 7 or $8. Dollars. So I definitely recommend this out and there's so many different kinds for your hair type. Um, I'll give you more of a better look of it and the bottle's really pretty too. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope that you check out these products and I hope that you kind of got an idea of um, you know how the products are and what they do and whatnot. And like I said, I will have the rest of the specifics and whatnot um, in the description box for this. So I'm hoping to have a video up at least once a week. I feel like I've been doing that pretty good for the past couple weeks, so that is good. So I am trying to think of like a few different things to do. Uh, so I have a couple ideas, but um, of course if you have any ideas of yourself, like um, not quizzes, like um, tags or questions that you want to ask me, if I get enough of them I'll make a video on it. Um, and yeah. So I hope you all are doing well and everything is going well for you and I will talk to you in my next video next week so I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>